as human beings, we can live through three main modes, our mind, our gut, which is our emotions, our heart. And a brilliant mind is revered. So often, if we've been challenged in life, we learn to be tough, we move into our head so that we don't have to feel our emotions. Actually, people are very cerebral in my experience. They're actually very emotional and they couldn't deal with the emotions. So they move in there because they felt a lot safer. And that's the challenge of people who are very cerebral. You need to be careful not to stay there. Because like I have one of my friends, he is Mensa, you know, part of that club, the super smart people. And I said to him, I said, one day you're going to have something that's going to happen that your mind will not be able to cope with. And when people are very cerebral end up in a situation that's so intense for them that their mind cannot cope with it, they crash in their emotions where they can't withstand it anymore. And before he met me, he was depressed for eight years. He couldn't move. So when you want to access people who are emotional when they come to see me they have a lot easier time because i teach them wise principle that engage the mind so that with the wise principle they can bring gratitude into the events that they thought were only painful when people are super cerebral they have to leave the so-called safety of their mind to allow themselves to feel so then they can get into their hearts. And I'm making a broad stroke comment here, but on average, women have an easier time to feel their emotions and men are often more into their minds. And so women come to see me, they don't have a problem doing the heart freedom method. It's easy. They love it. it they take it like this. Men come to see me and they're in their mind. And then I work with them and they're sweating, poor sweeties in the beginning often, because <laughs> yeah. they really have to trust me usually. And they trust me because somebody else they know did it with me and they see the results and now they come to see me. But I had one client come to see me, you know, he, he came by himself, <laughs> but he's sitting in front of me and he's sweating and it's like, okay, he's, he's being really brave and he's doing this. But once a man has done once and they realize, okay, I allow myself to feel it, but then through gratitude, I get into my heart, they go, oh, now I understand how to do this. And now they're really powerful and driven because they realize every time I do this, I empower myself and they, they make things happen. So on average, women have easy time feeling and you know transcending the emotion and men have a harder time, but often the women will be less you know, driven to make things happen after the man, even though he has a hard time feeling, once he understands the game, he's like, whoa, I'm ready to rock and roll and they take off.